Welcome back to School Cutter, it's Jacko here on my own. This week Tim is off training some world champions or something or other the Paralympics, but um, we are going to look at how to build triceps for calisthenics specifically. But before we get started with that, just click subscribe and then we will get right into it. So when we talk about tricep, we talk about this muscle at the back of the arm here, and we often think about it as being an extender of the of, uh, the elbow straining of the arm. And in calisthenics, what that looks for us a lot of the time is we be using things like the dip bars, where we're we're going into some dipping positions here. That's where the uh, as we go down, as well as bending the elbow, we're actually taking the shoulder in behind us, going into shoulder extension. And in calisthenics, some of the uh, pushing that we want to try and do is in some of these overhead positions, like in handstands. So we need to train uh, the tricep for that um, as well. The other benefit of the exercise we're going to show you here is we're going to train the core at the same time. So we're going to be looking at our body alignment when pressing out, which we don't get um, when we're in the uh, parallel bars doing our dips. So it's a nice variation for that. I'm going to show you some ways to build up strength for that. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is it doesn't need any uh, equipment at all. So we're down on the floor. We're going to start in a, uh, a elbow plank position. And the first thing I want us to do is let those shoulders sit in a little bit. I'm then going to squeeze my bum and get that on nice and tight and then make sure my abs are braced as if I'm ready to take a punch. Then from here, what I'm looking to do is I'm going to drive down through my hands, extend those elbows, and push up to the top. What we don't want to do is either leave with the bum and push up here to make it your body finding a way to make it easier or break in the middle here as I push up. So I've got to make sure as I push with my hands I'm keeping my bum on and my abs nice and tight so everything moves up together my body staying in that nice straight line as I'm pushing up. I'm starting to get you cued around controlling through your abs and your bum to keep that body in a nice straight line with whilst your arms are doing some pushing motions and that's going to be really important if you want to progress your calisthenics any further. If, that, if you're finding that difficult from a strength point of view then what we can do is we can just shorten uh, down the lever that we're working from so rather than pivoting from the feet we're going to go down to the knees but the same principles apply I'm going to make sure my bum is on and my, and my, my core is on the shoulders are sunk in nice so that when I press up everything stays nice and straight in terms of that trunk body alignment. Okay, so the second exercise we're going to show you is going to develop on from that and we're going to be used the rings and the rings are going to allow us to go a little bit deeper in terms of our range. So rather than being restricted by the height of the floor, we're going to be able to drop ourselves underneath and get a little bit further and drive back out. Now, a couple of things to note is with the rings, what's great about them is I can make this easier by standing further up and coming in and driving back out. Or, if I really fancy myself, I can take the right lower down here, drop in nice and low and drive back out. Same principles apply, you must make sure you've got that bum on nice and tight, core on nice and tight, those two things blocking that body in position whilst you drop down further and press back out. You can work yourself lower and lower, lower gain deeper range, feet further back to build up your strength progressively as you get better and better and stronger and stronger. So we can make all those uh, weightlifting squat guys uh, unhappy again by utilizing the squat rack for this one. But what we're gonna use is the bar set up it's similar to with the rings yet, just because we're using the rings allows a little bit of instability, so we're adding a little bit of stability by using the bar. But the one thing that the rings allows us to do is have a comfortable position for your hand. If you're tight in the shoulder, elbow, or in your wrist, then um, this is gonna feel a little bit harder for you, so it's something to build up towards. But the same way with the rings, we can adjust the height to make our, um, to make the exercise easier or harder for yourself. If I start with the bar higher up, that's like having your feet further forward um, on the ring. So if I start the bar high up here, hands shoulder width apart, walk back so I'm in a nice straight body alignment, and then drop underneath, press back up. If I want to make it harder, I can walk myself in a little bit, so I can start to drive those elbows even further underneath the bar. Core and glutes nice and tight, keeping the body line straight as we press back out. If you fancy yourself a bit and really want to challenge yourself, then you're going to take that bar, drop it down nice and low, and then we're going to look to get under here and drive back up. Huzzah. 
Yeah, hopefully that's given you some insight into how you can help build up your tricep strength as well as training the core to be able to control your body and trunk alignment during your calisthenics. If you've got any questions about that, just comment below. Um, in the meantime, if you would like to see more uh, of the videos from us and the content, we'd love you to click subscribe, which is up there. We've got new videos coming out every week. We've got challenges every Tuesday and Q and A's. Uh, if you are just starting out, we'd love to give you our free beginner's guide, which is just down there. That's the link to our website where you can download that for free. And then if you'd like to see any more how-to videos and tutorials, just look at the playlist up there.